tell you that you're not my competition. I'ma always win, throw me in, and I'm going in. I ain't running, I'ma come and tell you we can get to talk about it, cause I really live it. All the nights on the mission, no fear, no hope in my vision. Don't need no intervention. You wait on the ride, there ain't even no way to come out, putting them out, and they all gonna be missing. Y'all wonder why I'm still here, cause I'm going on the dark. Like a fool if you make me, you try to be brave and step up, but your crew is too scary. Plus, I'm too legendary. It's what we go hard for. I'm rocking your block, you want to get knocked off. I'm taking your place, yeah, I'm making my property. Maybe a game that you probably deserve with your life for me. So it's only right for me. Annihilate them if they get my way of sight. You keep them up off of me. A weakness in you won't make an appetite. Anytime I get into it, I be looking at them, looking pitiful in the condition that be critical. Nothing less than original. Cause the ones at the end of you, who's next? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat X video. In this video, we talk about the problems with Mortal Kombat X that all of a sudden got worse thanks to a couple of exclusive previews that Ragin posted about three hours ago on Tuesday, September 6th. The first one being Diamond Hellspawn Scorpion. While the stats are really not that impressive compared to current day characters as Pearson Molina I believe has 1,250 damage. There's a couple cards that have 1,200 health so the power creep is not really there with Diamond Hellspawn Scorpion. The power of Hellspawn Scorpion is in the passive which we know is going to be ridiculously stupid. Passive Infernal Will Martial Artist on Scorpion's team start the match with two bars of power. Scorpion is immune to critical damage and takes 50% less damage from Netherrealm opponents. So in the case of classic Scorpion, you can start with two bars of power. If you use Revenant Kung Lao, now he's going to start with three bars of power. Or if you put Shaolin Kung Jin on your team, he's going to start with three bars of power without having to use the Bloody Tomahawk or the Wrath Hammer. So really, you got to ask yourself, how fair is that? If they limit it to two bars... It's still pretty overpowered because Classic Scorpion can throw two spears. Jason Voorhees can x-ray people and cause bleed damage to the entire team. And 50% less damage from Netherrealm opponents can be a decent counter to Jason Voorhees. But I really think the passive is going to benefit guys like Dark Emperor Liu Kang. Classic Scorpion is going to make Classic Sub-Zero a little bit better. And there's a couple cards that are obviously going to benefit from Infernal Will. But this is... Definitely the first of the two cards. Now the second card that they've announced is Ravenous Molina. It's good to see a second Molina finally. As you guys know, it was like the second or third challenge in the game. I think it was like the third challenge in the game. So Ravenous Molina is locked in at 1,625 attack, but has 1,235 health, which is still slightly above the curve. So, I don't think that Mortal Kombat X needed to actually do diamond characters. I really think they just needed to balance out cards like Slasher Jason Voorhees, Cold War Sonya Blade, and even change the passive of Dark Emperor Liu Kang. So, the passive on Ravenous Molina, and I don't know why it says at max level, Savage Rule, a Tarkaten Warrior attacks before Molina tags in, causing bleed with a 100% chance to stun. Also, everyone on her team deals 100% more damage on all fire, poison, and bleed attacks. So, now if you're using a guy, like for example, if you're using Cold War Scorpion, his burn damage is going to be 100% higher, and as we know, that ability is already ridiculous as it is. So, Ravenous Molina can definitely benefit from Cold War Scorpion, but there's obviously other mechanics. I don't know if Ravenous Manolina is going to be Nether Realm or if she's going to be Outworld, but it should be really interesting to see. Now, granted, she doesn't have the Dark Emperor Liu Kang overpowered effects where you can start at three bars, but I still think at 1625 attack, it's going to be pretty ridiculous. Is it going to be as game breaking as the Scorpion? I don't think so. But let me just say this. This does absolutely nothing to fix the problems in Mortal Kombat X. If anything, I think it just makes the problems worse. The problem with Mortal Kombat X originated when they fixed the infinite souls. They also took out the coin event, so you couldn't actually use coins to buy equipment packs. And then they raised the price of souls from 120 to 150. And if that wasn't bad enough, after the Thunder God Raiden Challenge, it actually force you to buy new cards with souls, meaning that Mortal Kombat X is hungry for your money. 
rather than making content in the game like Injustice Gods Among Us where you don't have to pay for anything. You can play the game for entirely free. And if you want to support NetherRealm, you can buy their early access packs or you can buy power credits. But in Mortal Kombat X, you're never going to have all max characters. And in my opinion, once you have like four or five Elite Sevens, do you really need more? My answer to that is no. I obviously have classic Scorpion, classic Sub-Zero, Slasher Jason Voorhees all maxed out, and even our good friend Cutthroat Kano who has the best overpowered passive in the game. So if you really want to stop NetherRealm from making stupid ideas, please share this video with them and mention it on the forums. I'm sure that people are going to delete it. Keep putting that post up. Let their voice be heard that these diamond characters are going to do more harm to the game than help. Now, if they actually add in a third difficulty to the challenges, if they add in more towers that actually do something for the game, and if they just add in a new game mode, kind of like Survivor, something to make Mortal Kombat a little bit more fun. Because let's face it, Mortal Kombat X, once you get all the max out characters, all you really have to do is Faction Wars. You get a decent amount of coins playing Faction Wars. There's no reason to play Battle Mode. I think it would be really interesting to see Battle Mode actually get a little bit of an overhaul and actually be worth doing. Like if you complete, say, a 100 tower matchup, you get three souls. Yes, that's not going to be easy to do, but at the same time, it gives you reason to play the, the game. Now, I also think that Faction Wars needs to reward people for actually grinding out the Blood Rubies. And my suggestion is to allow the three battle matchup to give you one Blood Ruby, the five battle matchup to give you two Blood Rubies, and the seven battle matchup to give you three Blood Rubies. Is that imbalanced? No, because you could just go do something else for like 20 minutes, do a seven battle matchup, get three Blood Rubies, and win the game. So I know we talked a little bit about this rant with the new cards, but I really feel that Mortal Kombat X is going in a more negative route, and Injustice Gods Among Us continues to go to a positive route, as they did add a slightly bigger power creep with the Suicide Squad characters, but keep in mind, they don't change the meta so badly where you can still use Killer Frost, Arkham Knight, Batman, Injustice 2, Superman, and be perfectly fine. I really think the problem with the NetherRealm games is that they put all of these bad cards in the game, and they just keep pumping out stronger and stronger cards, and they don't balance out the bad cards. I think that's a huge problem because, for example, your reptiles outside of Kraken, your Johnny Cages, nobody's going to use them because their stats are absolute garbage. Even Injustice Scorpion is garbage outside of the fact that he's a free card. And, of course, I got like 500,000 views on the video, but that's beside the point. I think what Mortal Kombat X needs to save the game is they need to add survivor mode into the game. I think they need to overhaul the gear system. And I think Injustice Gods Among Us did that system way better. And they really need to take out unblockable special moves. I really think that is the worst mechanic in the game. Like if you overcommit on a basic attack and the opponent does a special, that's fine. But if you're blocking, you get block broken and unblockable special. That's the dumbest mechanic in the game. There's a couple of things they could do to fix the game. But I really think that the problems with Mortal Kombat X got worse with the announcement of these diamond tier characters. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about that. And if you like this video, talking about the problems with Mortal Kombat X now getting worse thanks to the previews that Ragen posted, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favor, check out my other Mortal Kombat X videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shadow. And I must say this, if they actually add these diamond tier characters into Faction Wars and not have it be within like the top like two or three thousand, this game has turned into a piece of shit. Have a wonderful day, kids. Who's next? www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!